before the tornado? Well, I think it was a pretty good. Um, we have a trailer park. We have a trailer park where um, some of the income comes from there. And my husband works at the same time, so I think it was a pretty good life. The tornado comes and took all the trailers. Yeah, and we lose everything. Literally, like everything. Cassandra, thanks to God, she was with me with the other three kids and Alejandro, he was at work. And a lady comes to me and is like, you know, the tornado take you home. I say, what? Are you kidding me? No, I'm taking, I'm serious. He said, oh, wow. So I got a car and going about a mile and the trees is full like the the electricity poles it was full too and you can still like see that the electricity for the water you know so and they don't let me go through with the car so I leave the car and I run 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 for like a mile to the trailers and finally I see my son he's coming from other house because some other people helping him to get out from the trailer the only thing standing was was the trailer I was in, and I didn't hear anything. It was before I knew it. It hit. It, it hit, and it got. It was gone. And you know what? I don't realize that we don't have nothing until around three or four days. When we get out from work, it's like, let's go home. And he's like, where? Home. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we don't have home. The restaurant was just starting to get off the ground. And you know, we had that at least. Like the business, you know, some days it's busy. Sometimes they show like 50. Sometimes they show a lot more than that. Sometimes they don't show like 10 or 20. How much do you work? 10 hours. 10 hours a day? Uh-huh. How about your husband? Yeah, whoa, wow. <laughs> he works 15 and sometimes 17. So it's 15 to 17 hours a day. How many days a week? Seven. Seven days a week. How did the two of you meet? I have a wagon trailer, like a taco trailer, and he works for another restaurant who's have another taco truck. He was my competition. We work in, in the same place. Um, I was renting before before him, but then he comes to to the next to me. So, well, we kind of enemies at that moment, you know, because he's my competition <laughs> and after all <laughs> we get <getting> married <laughs> so it was fun at that moment ah, su forma de ser que es comprensiva le gusta el, echarle ganas al uh, para salir adelante Dile si él, dile, dile si, si ellos saben por qué nos escogieron a nosotros para hacer nuestra casa. Porque somos, éramos varias familias las que quedamos sin casa. Here the tornado. The 
el tornero aquí en my house. Aquí. Every day. Here, here my house, my house here. The jardín for tomatoes, peppers, for kids the park, parque, for los niños, for everything tornado. No nothing. No more. things that I I in love with him because he's a responsible hard worker and when I'm sick he's trying to do the best or everything he can do so I can get better wow I mean I have three kids he's not on his and the kids respect him and sometimes that's hard when you have the kids from the other marriage they get in pretty long together so I just get a letter for my son. He's like, a happy birthday, Luna. I wish to be with you, but when I come home, I will take you guys to eat out. <laughs> so I don't say that I was a homeless because my family show up. And when I say family, I'm talking about the whole community. We're not alone. I don't have a words to say how amazing it was to know that the community is together. Within 13 or 14 months, they went through two disasters that most of us never go through once, let alone twice that close together. Given all that they were doing to give back to our community that it was important that you know the community stand up for them too. With the long-term recovery group and I was affiliated with the long-term recovery group from the tornado um, we got um, put into touch with some of the Mennonite Disaster Services folks. It's something that we've really taken to heart, this project. It really is a partnership with a lot of different people and it means everybody works together to accomplish one goal. And that's really what's meaningful for us. Some of the first stories we heard about them were after the Pilger Wakefield tornado, that this family was able to, to bring meals to MDS volunteers in Pilger. And MDS built a lot of homes in Pilger and did some repair work in this area and they just kinda, the family just kinda fell through the cracks. At that moment, I feel really down, uh, and she showed up, and she was there for us all the time, thanks to, to her influence. To me, it's our angel. It's our family angel. And we're lucky at some point that we have food, and we have a roof, even in us, not the best roof, but it's still a roof, and at some point, we have a place to stay. Because you had the cafe and it was a place that you right. could go and That's have food and have a roof and... You know, my mom always say, if you eat two, they can eat three. If we eat three, we can eat four, you know? Like, <laughs> we can put some water in the beans and <laughs> we got more food.
Dice que, que, que quería saber si la salsa pica mucho o poquito. Dice que a ah, mitad, no mucho ni un poquito. Oh, he wants to know how, how spicy the hot sauce is. Oh. <laughs> claro que sí, este, siempre he, he dicho yo que hay momentos duros y como ahorita muchos esos momentos mucha felicidad de, de saber que Dios no nos abandona y que no nomás a nosotros, a, toda, a todos los, los que alcanzan a escuchar este mensaje es que, que Dios no nos deja solos, nomás que, hay que también hay que tener paciencia porque, pues... Even though we don't have nothing, we have everything. This year is going to be a blessing year. 2016 is going to be a blessing year. Uh, 2014, it was a bad year. 2015, it was a bad year. At some point, no matter what happened to us, our family is still together and close, you know? And I think each time when something happened bad, I feel like our connection is getting close, more close, you know? Why the Mennonites, Mennonites come or Cherry, Pastor Cherry comes or the other churches because there's a whole bunch of churches doing it. Why? I don't know. I just feel blessed, you know, and I feel so thankful. <laughs>